Hello, this video is part two in a four-part series that will discuss setting up Advanced Revenue Management, or ARM. Part two will provide an overview of adding item revenue categories and setting up fair value in the Advanced Revenue Management feature in NetSuite. Item Revenue Category is a classification for items that have similar characteristics and revenue allocation requirements. You can select an item revenue category when you are setting up a fair value price list instead of selecting individual items. We will discuss enabling the Advanced Revenue Management feature, adding item revenue categories and setting up fair value, adding revenue allocation groups, and setting Advanced Revenue Management preferences. To create an item revenue category, go to Revenue, Highlight Setup, Highlight Item Revenue Categories, click New. Enter a name for the category. This name appears in a list. Use unique, descriptive names, but keep them short so they can be read in the list. For example, if you want two license categories, use names such as License-Perpetual and License-Term. Complete the following optional fields. All fields are displayed in the Item Revenue Categories list. Description. Use this field to provide a longer description than is practical for the name. Fair Value Formula. The option you select here becomes the default for fair value price records created for this item revenue category and for items included in this category. To add options to the list, see Adding Fair Value Formulas. Fair Value Range, Checking Policy. This drop-down list is visible only when the Enable Fair Value Range Checking Account preference is checked. The option you select here becomes a default for fair value price records created for this item revenue category and for items included in this category. The options are Boundary, if the discounted sales amount is between the high and low values of the range, it is used as a calculated fair value amount. If it is outside the range, either the high or low value is used, whichever is closer to the discounted sales amount. Fair value. If the discounted sales amount is outside the range, the base fair value is used as a calculated fair value amount. High. If the discounted sales amount is outside the range, the high value is used. Low. If the discounted sales amount is outside the range, the low value is used. You can assign fair values to items and item revenue categories by setting up a fair value price list. To complete the fair value price list, you must have fair value formulas. You may also add dimensions to the fair value price list. Complete the following procedures to set up your fair value rules. Adding fair value formulas, adding fair value dimensions, and creating the fair value price list. Fair value formulas are used in the fair value price list and on item revenue category records. The formulas appear in a drop down list on those records. This is the page where you set up the formulas that appear as options on the list. The formulas use field values from the Revenue Arrangement Body and from the Revenue Element Lines. You can select properly formatted fields from the Field drop-down list in the Formula Assistant or type them directly in the Fair Value Formula field. Table of Proper Formats. Custom fields for Revenue Elements are also included in the drop-down list if they are of types Currency, Decimal Number, Integer Number, or Percent. Fair value formulas use symbols for the basic operators, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Other functions are also supported. They are listed in the function drop-down list in the pop-up formula assistant. These functions include ABS, which is useful for determining whether values are positive or negative. For example, to get a negative calculated fair value for a return authorization, you might use discounted amount slant ABS, discounted amount. To add a fair value formula, go to Revenue, Highlight Setup, Highlight Fair Value Formula, click New, 
enter a name for the formula. This name appears in list. Use unique, descriptive names, but keep them short so they can be read in the list. Enter an optional description. Move the pointer to the right of the Fair Value Formula field to display the set formula icon, and click the icon to open a pop-up window where you can build the formula. You can type directly in the Fair Value Formula field. Select values from the field and function list to add them to the formula field using the proper syntax. You can type directly in the formula field. Click Set to accept the value in the formula field and close the window. Edit the value in the Fair Value Formula field as needed. Click Save or Save and New. After you save the Fair Value Formula, you can copy it to create similar formulas as needed. Fair Value Dimensions are fields that you add to the Fair Value Price Record. For example, if you add a Fair Value Dimension for Subsidiary, a Subsidiary field appears on the Fair Value Price Record. The dimensions you add appear in the Fair Value Dimension group on the Fair Value Price Record, but are not included as columns in the Fair Value Price list. The Fair Value Dimensions may be custom segments. The custom fields may be automatically populated in the revenue arrangement using revenue recognition field mapping. To add fair value dimensions, Administrators, go to Setup, Highlight Accounting, click on Fair Value Dimensions in the Revenue group. For Revenue Managers, go to Revenue, Highlight Setup, click on Fair Value Dimensions. Select a dimension from the field list and type a description. Select additional fields and type descriptions as desired. You may use each field only one time. The maximum number of dimensions is 10. Click Save. When fair value dimensions are used on a fair value price record, the values you can select include any and unassigned. These values are in addition to specific values for the dimension. When you select any as the dimension value, the fair value price applies to all items regardless of their dimension value unless another fair value price matches the dimension exactly. Unassigned equates to null and when selected the fair value price applies to items with no value selected for the dimension. For example, if you add a fair value dimension for location and your account includes the locations Americas, EMEA, and Asia, the values for location on the fair value price record are any, unassigned, Americas, Asia, and EMEA. You add location as a fair value dimension and set up three fair value price records for an item as follows. Table 1. The service item is included in various transactions with different locations. The fair value price list logic selects fair value prices for the locations as follows. Table 2. If no fair value price record had been created with a location value of unassigned, the results would be different. In that case, the revenue element with no value for its location would also use fair value record 2. The fair value price list enables you to create different fair value rules for different items and item revenue categories. To create the list, you add fair value price records. The fair values for items are used to allocate revenue in revenue arrangements. You can edit fair value prices after you add them. Any changes you make apply to new customer performance obligations only. They do not affect existing revenue arrangements. Note, you can import your fair value price list. To add a fair value price record, go to Revenue, Highlight Setup, Highlight Fair Value Price List, click New. Select an item or item revenue category from the list. If you select an item that belongs to a category, the Item Revenue Category field is automatic, automatically populated. If you select an item revenue category, you can leave item blank. In base fair value, 
enter the base fair value for the item. This value is used for range checking. Select an option from the currency list. This field is available only when the multiple currencies feature is enabled. The fair value for other currencies is derived using the transaction exchange rate. Select an option from the fair value formula list. If the item revenue category you select includes a fair value formula, that value is selected by default. Enter the following optional values as appropriate. Subsidiary. This list is available only on One World accounts. Accounting book. This drop-down list is available only when the multi-book accounting feature is enabled. Source type. This drop-down list enables you to create fair value prices that are specific to the type of revenue source. By default, the fair value price applies to any source that matches the other criteria. Customer Project. This list enables you to create fair value prices that are specific to a customer or project. By default, the fair value price applies to any customer or project that matches the other criteria. Fair value range checking policy. This drop down list and its related fields are visible only when the enable fair value range checking accounting preference is checked. The fair value range checking policy compares the discounted sales price of an item with the calculated fair value and determines what to use as a calculated fair value in the allocation ratio. If the item revenue category you select includes a fair value range checking policy, that value is selected by default. When you select a fair value range checking policy, the following additional fields are required regardless of the option you select. Low value percent. Enter percent of the base fair value to set the low end of the range. A percent sign is not required. The low value is automatically calculated. High value percent. Enter percent of the base fair value to set the high end of the range. A percent sign is not required. The high value is automatically calculated. The options for fair value range checking policy are boundary, fair value, high, and low. Other optional values are ISVSOE price, start date, and end date. Units type. This list is available only when the multiple units of measure feature is enabled. ISVSOE price. Check this box to indicate that the fair value is VSOE. If the box is not checked, the fair value is considered an estimate. Start date and end date. These fields enable you to set up fair value prices for future use. When a revenue arrangement is created, its date is checked against these dates. Fair value dimension. When you add fair value dimensions, they appear in a fair value dimension group below the primary information. Each dimension list includes the following values in addition to the dimension values for the account. Any. When you select this value, the fair value price may apply to all items regardless of their dimension value. This is the default. If another fair value price matches the dimension value exactly, that fair value price is used. Unassigned. When you select this value, the fair value price applies only to items that do not have a value selected for the dimension. For more information, see Logic for Fair Value Price Selection with Fair Value Dimensions. After selection, click Save or Save and New. When you have saved the fair value price record, you can copy it to create similar fair value prices as needed. Thank you for watching our NetSuite videos. If you have further questions, please email netsuite at a2q2.com.